My name is Namita Dimri. Today, we are going to discuss top 5 interview questions of Tableau. So let's begin with question number 1. What are the different data types in Tableau? So Tableau mainly supports 7 data types. That is, Boolean data type. That is the true and false values basically comes under your Boolean data type. Then comes your date. In, uh, in the under the date data type, we have the date values, say for example, January 1, 2021 or any other date comes under this data type. Then comes date and time. All the values which has a date as well as a time. So <clears throat> those values comes under date and time data type. Next is, a ge next is your geographic data type. These are the values which are used in a map. Values um, such as country name, state name, city belongs to geographic data types and they are basically used for geographic, geographic mapping. Next is your text or string data type. So data types that contains one or more characters. For example, welcome to Tableau. I love Tableau. These are the example of text or string data type. Next is your number, decimal, all the decimal numbers. Uh, comes under the number decimal data type and all the whole numbers come comes under the number whole data type. So these are the different data types in Tableau. Next question. What is a marks card in Tableau? So marks card is a key element for visual analysis in Tableau. So whenever we drag fields to the different properties in the marks card, we basically add context and detail to the marks in the view. We basically use the marks card to set the mark right and we basically control the color, size, shape, detail, text and tooltips for marks in the view using the marks card. So that is the marks card in Tableau. Moving on to the next question. Question number three. What are shelves? So in Tableau, shelves are the areas on the left and top of the view. And by placing fields onto the shelves, we basically build views. And whenever you select certain mark types, then only some shelves are available. So these are shelves in Tableau. Moving on to the next question, question number four. What are the measures and dimensions? Measures are basically quantitative in nature. They are the values on which we perform mathematical functions. For example, as you can see here, discount, profit, quantity, sales, all these columns are basically the ones on which we can perform mathematical functions. Whereas dimensions are qualitative in nature and we cannot perform mathematical functions on them. For example, employee, location, sales region, these are all the examples of dimensions. Moving on to the last question. What is the difference between discrete and continuous in Tableau? So in Tableau, if a field contains values that are names, dates or geographical locations or that may be counted as distinct and separate, so that is an example of discrete. We take all those values as dis discrete values. For example, customer name, region, category, subcategory, all these are the examples of discrete. And discrete values are shown as blue pills in the shelves and as blue icons in the data window. Coming to the continuous. Continuous, continuous data uh, are basically the um, continuous data rules. Are, on the other hand, if a field has value that can be added, averaged or aggregated, those values are considered as continuous. It basically measures the continuous data and can take any value between finite to infinite interval. For example, profit, quantity, discount, sales, price, time. So all these are the example of continuous. So that is all from my side guys. Like and share the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel of Ivy Professional School for more such videos. Thank you.